Hey guys, it's Matthew. So the last video you seen me make was about that giant pumpkin I had started. That was well over a year ago now. And I hate to say it, but it was almost immediately after making that video, I had mixed up a new batch of nutrients and the plant immediately started to make a turn for the worst after that. It uh, started to wilt and die. By the end of the day, it was dead. And what I think happened was I had mixed up some hydrogen peroxide in with it and it was a little too strong for the plant, didn't like it, and it died. So that kind of changed my perspective on hydrogen peroxide in nutrient reservoirs. I think it's a good product to use for cleaning, but from now on that's staying out of any kind of nutrient solution I'm throwing together. Uh, things have just been really busy. Uh, I've sold my house where I used to live and spent a lot of time getting that ready for sale, a lot of painting, a lot of cleaning up, and anybody who sold a house knows it's a lot of work so things overall just last year were really busy wasn't able to put a lot of videos together wasn't even really able to put a hydroponic system together there was just a few things that took priority over that now i'm settled into my new home i was able to start some seedlings that are behind me here and hopefully I'll have a system to put those in eventually. Those are just started in uh, rock wool. Uh, I didn't have any of the plugs at the time, but uh, Jay over at Harvest Cube has sent me a sample pack of some of their cubes. So I just cut it up into strips and planted some seedlings in there. So what I had done was I took those strips that I had my seedlings in. I cut them up into smaller plugs and then transplanted those into some cells I had and loaded those up with uh, vermiculite. If I had perlite I would have used it but it just so happened I had vermiculite on hand so that's what I used and I filled up uh, each little cell the rest of the way with that and they've been growing pretty good so far. So because I had moved uh, I had to disassemble a lot of my systems and I wasn't able to bring them with me. A lot of it was just made with scrap wood or wood I had lying around and I really didn't see a point in taking it with me. But hopefully I'll have a home for these seedlings soon and we can make some more videos. So again, just thank you for all the guys who keep subscribing and keep sending messages. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again to the guys over at Harvest Cube for sending me that care package and hope to be making some videos again in the future. May will be pretty busy for me. I won't be around, but I hope to have something set up before then so that when I'm not around, it will still be able to look after these plants and I will have something for this spring and summer. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.